The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Tiff, it is Aussie for travel. So much going on in my life right now, Buzz. So you're just telling us <laughs> off air, mate. I feel like you should tell the audience. Oh, boy, I was going to talk about Rockhampton. little relatable chat here. We can talk about Rockhampton next yeah, just we'll to bring you back about, down to earth. Yeah, talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yesterday we spoke to, uh, go on, somebody. Anoxia. 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 Yeah. Is it? Anoxia. Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> and uh, just in the lead up to that, I thought, no, I'll throw a little, you know, throw Teddy Swims a, a bone, let's just see if he's around or listening. Mm. Even though I think you'd left Brisbane by that stage. Be honest. An over player. What you did was slide into Teddy Swims DMs. 100% it's I did. A fair point, Kendall. 100%. Uh, well, that's the, you know, that's the best way It was a way cold slide in. Contact someone. And I, <laughs> I know most people go, what's the point? As if he's going to talk back to you. <laughs> um oh. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was actually sending it thinking, oh, if he's listening, you might, maybe we can get him on or something. Like, hey, legend, we're getting Always Anox- working. We're getting Anox here on the radio next. The bus you played with in Brisbane earlier in the week. Nice work. It's been great for her and Brisbane artists. It's a prayer symbol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, is that a prayer bro. symbol or That's is a that? Or is it a or high is that- five? Yes. Who knows? Oh, that's a good question. But I think it gets used as a prayer symbol. Either way. It's like yeah. a peace out But it is, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, just enhancing. So it's either a pr- pray, <laughs> pray, or you're, a high or five. You're five. praising either him way, or you're high fiving yeah, him. Or both. Yeah. yeah, I do both yeah. with him. <laughs> and uh, geez, a couple of hours later, he writes back, "Yes." Yeah, you know, like S- I do that a bit. Lots yes. Of How many s's? Two, three, four s's. Exclamation point! You guys are so alike. I know. No, just yes. I'm like, is this one the show's come to? Counting and, s's. And, yeah. and then I've, <laughs> and I'll go, "That's cool." He's he's answered me, and then. Then I go to my, you know, my whatever, that other thing at the top of Instagram where you look at your activities. <laughs> Is this what it sounds like when a boomer navigates? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> getting there eventually. And there it is. Teddy Swims is, Adam is a friend. Well, I don't think Boom. that is, that is taking it a little far. He followed you. He didn't yeah. add you as a friend. He's added it's me not as Facebook. a friend. Yeah, but tell Ken hey, what, per- what, what percentage of his, fo- of his followers does he follow, do you ask? Yes, you did. Is this a riddle? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what percentage of followers? <laughs> uh, he follows 0.1% of people that he follows. He's got 6 million followers. He, he follows, follows 6,000 people. 0.1% of people. He chooses to go, huh, that guy's relevant in my world. Yeah. I want to know if you're, well, still, is, if you're still being followed in, say, two weeks' time. What, what do you think is, is I think doing? it's easy to throw out the, like, the Wait till sim- he sees the my sympathy, content. The sympathy, <laughs> your content. I'm going to the Olympics in a week. I mean, what's Whoa. not to like about the guy? I mean, yeah. me, I'm talking third yeah. person. You'll be on. Yeah, so, yeah, Nick. yeah we know. <laughs> Look at Nick's yeah. face. There's a camera on you there, Nick. Um, yeah. So you got no, no rebuttal there, I is there, really? I think it's common to throw out the sympathy follow, and then in a few weeks you find out, oh, they must have unfollowed me, and it was just like a bit of an attention-seeking moment. For her, from who? Teddy's just being nice you're saying to you. Teddy no, he's he's throwing Teddy you. are saying Teddy Swim's getting atten- yeah. seeking attention from me is your is your no, theory or I think your he's... logic. Anyway, that's fine. I know you're not fighting. that I've ever unfollowed people that I've gone and followed out of sympathy. Oh god, we're all going to get unfollowed next week from Kendall. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Franklin's anniversary sale has kicked off with 33% off indoor and outdoor blinds, shutters, curtains and security screens. T's and C's apply. See franklin.net.au Kill me when you're touching my soul on a Friday night Oh, oh, oh. Kevin? Uh, good morning. How are we? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Oh, I'm excellent. You guys back from the holidays again. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I got to stop. I go to Paris next week, Kevy, for the Olympics. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, what a, what a life. <laughs> mm. He's doing the ground announcing for the seven, so yeah, he's been working sevens. on all of the. Actually, what's the name? Um, Mark. Oh, I've got to no, wa- check. I've got to check. No, 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 Waze. Waze. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just say the number, pass it to the number seven. That's what I should do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scouting for you for the Bronx too. See if there's any good sevens players we can steal. No, we don't. We need all the players. We can. We've only got 18 players available this week. Oh, no. uh, for the so, uh, but 18 good ones. Let's just <laughs> say that. That's good enough. 18 good people to get out there tomorrow night and get a good job done for the Broncos. Broncos up against Dragons, 7:30 tomorrow night. Critical at Suncorp Stadium. Uh, yeah, so on those numbers, is Pierre Cura among those 18, or is he 
he out because of the, the no, opposed well, session? He, well, I believe he'll be okay. I was down there oh. yesterday watching the Maroons train, and I saw him go over. And all of the oh, people to go over, oh. it was uh, Brendan. But our doctors and our medical people will check him out again this morning. But we believe he's going to be you know, okay uh, to take the field tomorrow night, which is right, fingers good crossed. news. But uh, we'll check him out this morning. But, yeah, we believe he's going to be okay. So you got this big unit. Is it Va Arsimu? I'm not sure how we pr- pronounce his name, yeah. but he, they started talking about him as possibly coming in. To tell us a little bit about him because he seems like he's a pretty good prospect. Well, he's a great prospect. Yeah, he's been playing uh, this year uh, in the Interest Cup. Um, younger uh, from Logan, South Logan, younger kid, big, strong body. Um, hasn't played a lot of of grade, so. But he's ready to go. He's, he's raw and ready. Big, uh, strong, as I say. Good with his carries and particularly good with his defence as well. So uh, he could come into, into calculations. He's 18th man at the moment, but will come into calculations if, if Brendan is ruled out. I know that if we didn't get the result we wanted against Penrith last week, but I I, I thought just from watching at home there was lots of improvements. So yeah, you, I, I, I agree. I, yeah, how are you feeling about the way the sides are performing and what do you make of this match against the Dragons? Yeah, well, Ash, the last month for mine has been a lot better from us. There's just a couple of areas where we're letting ourselves down. I think defensively we've been very good, particularly uh, last week, you know, against the Panthers. It's just these critical moments in games where we just come up with a, with a silly mistake or a penalty that relieves pressure on the opposition. And um, until we can fix that, you know, the scoreboard is going to remain, you know, difficult for us to combat. So... Um, we've got to, and, and it's not about just not playing footy. It's about playing footy, but using your skills, but being smart about it as well, and knowing when to pass and when to hold the ball, and also defensively, just, just getting back on side behind the referee. Those little things uh, are big things in games. We've got to get you know focus on that and get ourselves right. I'm sure I'm still very confident in the side and the group that we have here to do great things this year. But you know we need to start you know tomorrow night against the Dragons. That'll be a good start place to start for us. Kevin, do you have a um the, is this immortal? Just, yeah, just talking with Lutzi yeah, off yeah, air yeah. there about that. The NRL has announced that they will be inducting a new member. Next month. As, well, as, at least one. As an immortal. Many. Well, I think they just said it was going to be one. So uh, right. any any thoughts, mate? Over to you. Who would you pick if you were selected? Straight away, straight away I'm thinking Alan Langer. Alan Langer. I know he's a good mate of mine, but he has achieved everything in the game and all, all these other guys fly above the radar and with their achievements and what they've done for the game. But Alfie, because of his humility, just flies under the radar. And for what he's given to the game, I, you know... Oh, well, I, I just know throughout my career, I just know how many times Alan Langer got the Broncos home, got Queensland home, got Australia home with, with brilliant moments. He's resilient. He's played, you know, nearly, 200, well, nearly 300 games at the top level. 35 origins, God knows how many test matches. So there's not a, not nothing that Alfie hasn't achieved in the game. But because of his humility, he stays out of the limelight. Hmm, that's interesting. They've said they're going to do it every four years now, I guess, which is great because it's, the word's immortal. And you, I don't think you want to have 300 people in the, in the group, do you? No, well, you don't. But, I mean, there's obviously through every era, there's, there's some, some been some terrific footballers who do need that recognition of, uh, immortality status. So, and if they want to look off field, well, there you go again with Alf. Like <laughs> football, just not what you do on the field; it's yeah. what you do off the field as well. Lutzi, would you agree? I totally agree with that, <laughs> and, Kevin. You know, about bringing people together and enjoying the game. That, I mean, that's Alfie to a T. So, I'm probably a bit biased. So, yeah, the quintessential halfback. Yeah, no, there's plenty of people that agree with you. Thanks, Kevin. Good luck tomorrow night, Good mate. Luck, this mate. is go a big match. Broncos Thanks. up against yeah. Dragons. Give some tickets away. 13, 24, 10. How many have we got to give away there? Let's give away two. Two family passes. Nice. Two, oh, two family passes. Yeah, let's so, do it. Uh, four tickets each. Okay, 13, defeat, 24, 10. Thanks, Kevin. Go the wrong oh, he's already, He hung up. He's already gone. He's out of there. Uh, it's all thanks to Franklin's anniversary sale. It's kicked off with 33% off indoor and outdoor blind shutters, curtains, and uh, security screens. T's and C's apply. See franklin.net.au. The Ash, Lutzi, and Susie O'Neill podcast. Beautiful looking Friday as well. 24 degrees is the top. Oh, why am I reading that there could be snow? <laughs> well, then it's going that little cold what? snap that I was talking about in time for Origin then hits, I think, on Sunday. Are and you then, serious? Yeah, mm. it's looking chilly overnight. We'll be getting into the sort of highs of 17 by this time next week. Mm. 
Next Thursday's like Origin Day mm. and Origin Night is looking like the coldest kind of two days we're going to have this year. <laughs> but I, I said five degrees really? a couple of days ago. It's jumped up a little bit. Yeah. So hopefully it continues. Sub zero temperatures are expected for the Darling Downs and the Granite Belt on Wednesday morning. Minus two forecast for Stanthorpe, Oakey, and Warwick. There's a possibility of light showers, which means if the conditions are right, you could have snow on the Granite Belt. Wow. <laughs> Should we take the show out there? Ooh. <laughs> Snow. There's not snow a lot of takers. Angels, yeah. if, it, if it snows, <laughs> no one said yes. I'm like, this does happen once a year, pretty much. Does it? Winter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about Wal- one day a year. <laughs> Kevin Walters um, <laughs> on the show on next. Mitch on the street in Stanthorpe. One of our <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. S- s- I'm up for taking it out. Yeah, let's, go, let's get Mitch out to, to Stanthorpe. Mm, what, what day is it? Anyway, we're going to discuss all this. No, origin, origin Day. day. <laughs> it's Origin Day. Yeah. 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 Origin Day. On origin day. Yeah. Lock it in. We're going out to Stanthorpe. That's cruel. Take one for the team, Mitch. Be a team player. It's only um, a three-hour drive. <laughs> mm. You get back in yeah. time. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Cool. Um, no, what's got you upset? Oh, I'm just oriented out to the kitchen there. And um, Nick's out there. They're all out there. Um... Because I had some client function or something last night, a lot of pizzas left over. And yeah. this isn't about brands of pizzas. You guys know I'm a Domino's guy. That's, I love Domino's that's, that's as well. That's well stated. Um, There's like 12 boxes 12 of pizzas. 12 boxes, yes. not one. I've come back with two bits of garlic bread. Yes. We can, we can smell the garlic. I two can bits smell of garlic the garlic. Bread is all I find edible. What? There's and no pizza left? No, there's pizzas everywhere, but oh, is it whoever order them, it's the most ridiculous disgusting. array of flavours and, and ingredients. Like what? Oh, just. Just everything you can and think of. And in 12 of. boxes, you couldn't find one pizza. I'm no with Lutzi. I went looking no, as well. No tropo, like, no Hawaiian. W- w- no me, meat lovers, no pepperoni. No meat lovers, no, not even a supreme, Is really. there like a vegetarian? Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's vegan. Seven, yogurt. There's, there's seven with vegan written on the front of them. Yeah. Seven pizzas. Well, that's why they're still there. That's why they're still yeah. there. No one ate them. There's one out there with potato on it. There, oh, cashew. I found cashews on one. That'd have chicken as well or something. But just like mushroom on everyone. Yeah. Like, yogurt? Oh, is no, there yogurt? I'm going to become a mushroom farmer if that's what people are, are ordering. Have, everyone's doing mushrooms. Mushrooms is the, the word of the day. Someone, said, is someone said that there was a Tuscan pesto chicken. Yum. Oh, well, uh, yeah, but it probably good. had like anchovies no, or something it's got ridiculous it's got, on it. It's got, it's got uh, olives, anchovies, mushroom, yogurt. Uh, cashews, red peppers, green peppers, every pepper you want. You yeah. know why Ridiculous. the meat lovers and the ham and pineapples not there? Well, the popular ones. Because it got eaten. Could yeah, it, I know. It, it probably got eaten yeah. if someone ordered one of them. What is happening to I the I bet world? there was one vegan, and that one vegan got seven pizzas. Uh, yeah. There was an over Wait, one order vegan on person. the fake cheese. Exactly. What is it made of? Yeah, well, exactly. Well, if you, like can't, nuts, if you, you can find out if you want, you no can go and eat seven if, if of them out there. you can't answer it, that's the problem, right? No, I've got two I'm pieces of heated garlic bread here that I can tuck into, so I'm fine. It was, the saddest, it was the saddest looking Lutzi walking in. He's like, oh, I see everyone in. Because Lachlan came in with pizza and he's like, I'm going to go get yeah. some pizza. Yeah. Mix eating, I can in. see him chewing, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but well, what were you eating, eating Lachlan? Because you did a double decker deal. A, he will eat You went, yeah, he didn't eat anything. He's had capsicum on it and stuff. No, mine was the Tuscan pesto chicken and it only had mushrooms. Mushroom on it of the well, ingredients that you don't like. Okay. Why? Mus- mushrooms don't go Why with pesto. Why are you pesto? putting mushrooms on pesto? Yeah. Ch- it doesn't make anyway, any sense. we can talk about this for hours. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. You did well to recover from your lost voice yesterday. Yeah. Well, I, I did. I literally, I, I, I came in, real because I, I didn't realise until I actually got here that I had no voice because I don't talk to anyone that early in the morning. You don't talk to your wife, obviously. No, well, she's asleep. Yeah. And so I... Um, room. How does one lose a voice... <laughs> Out of nowhere, and then get it back out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah, what is that medically? What happened? I don't know. Like, it's I actually I, never happened. I felt it going no, no. on Tuesday. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday. I said to Mitch as I was leaving, I was like, I think I'm losing my voice. And I came in yesterday, and it was gone. Um, so I did the vocal rest and lemon and honey and all the rest of it. And I was pretty clear when I came in here, and I was like, I'm not talking to anybody today. I'm gonna keep it on the DL at work, at home, not talking to anybody. So I thought what I'd do is I'd drive Nick around because Mitch obviously had to come in, press the buttons, do my job. Yeah. Nick then replaced Mitch, and I thought I'd do the good thing, and I'd be like, Nick, I'll drive you out to the location. Yeah. I'll just sit in the show. Uh, no, that the was a big play for me yesterday. It was noted. I was right? stoked to see you on the socials out on the streets. I was like, mm. look at this, the right, buzz team man. Team player, company man. High-fiving people. That's it. You could have just been a text. 
I'm hard. Um, can't come in. I could have gone home. Yeah, yeah. you still Played came FIFA to all day. work. And, yeah. Um, and then I thought I'd listen to the show in the car and uh, be no talking at all. But that's not how Nick works. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Um, if anyone knows him, and I guess the uh, the uh, character that he has on our show, you might think that's played up. But Nick had no idea that I had my phone recording our conversation on our way home from Zarafa's yesterday. Did you, Nick? I had no idea, and I really should have been smarter about this. Well, it was about an hour drive home in, in peak hour traffic. I've found about a minute and a half worth of audio just to show you what my life was like yesterday. How's, um, how's the rest of your day looking? Uh, yeah, good, mate. Mm-hmm. Alessa is just about to drop a um, country pop dance song. Oh, wow. It's all over, all over TikTok at the moment, and I expect us to get it in my two months' time. That was where the arm robbery was. In that um, supermarket there. There's a responsibility when you're on the roads in this car. You're driving the brand. <laughs> We're in Maruka. It's still probably the last... In, in that same sort of zone of, of Rochdale for those who are looking to buy in sort of middle-income houses. Like a lot of old Queenslanders, big blocks through here. You can see big, wide roads. But a lot of people are now forced to rent as far out as Maruka because that's what they can get. Like, weirdly now, like 10 years ago, it would never have happened um, when we used to come out here and play against Maruka. But now a lot of teammates that actually live here because this is as close... That they, that they can rent. But that's where that's where Brisbane kind of is now. The sort of the inner ring of value has pushed its way out here. And this is probably just I'd call this maybe zone this is a border of like zone one and two. Oh, uh, zones. Not the actual public transport zones, but sort of what's considered inner, <laughs> what's considered middle, what's considered outer. So this is what our listeners go through bus. Is this the most responsible thing to do right now? Oh, I'm like definitely taking the baby climber. I mean, I've only been in Brisbane for two years, but I was a pizza delivery driver in, um, sort of in West Area. And they used to say to me, like, going, you're losing too much time punching in coordinates in the GPS. Just along the roads. Good morning, Brisbane. Mahan Shani with you. Mahan. I'm a rugby league fan. Have you liked the inception of the Dolphins into the competition? Yeah. He's picking up Neil's brain about it yesterday. I don't have a conclusion here. I'm all making an observation. <laughs> and there was a lot of observations oh, yesterday oh, on the road, Nick. Oh, so good. That is frenetic. <laughs> oh. Did you go, maha? Maha, maha, yeah. maha, maha. maha. I'm stoked. I Without prompting. <laughs> Oh. Oh, so many trains of thought. I yeah. love that you've, you've developed a zonal system in Brisbane. Like, I love that you stipulated. <laughs> now, this is the, the, right. These aren't the official <laughs> zones. <laughs> I, I, I will stipulate Not that. Not the official bus zones. Yeah. But anyway, I have come back with a, a voice and an investment property in Maruka. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than Brighton Homes are now offering up to $35,000 cash back on their homes. You don't need to be smarter than Suze to live brighter and save more with Brighton. All right, Katie is out of Caboolture. Broncos fan, it nice. says Katie. Well, I mean, I'm a Queenslander. I have to be a Broncos fan, don't I? Nice. Hey, speaking of Katie, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> she's got new music out, Katie Perry. We're going to play that at 9 a.m. What? On the show. Oh, yeah. I know. Early I access. It forward. I brought it forward. They're saying she won't play in the MCG. Yeah. She's doing the AFL, AFL, AFL Grand Final. Grand They're final. almost mm. done a deal for half time. The album comes out then, so it's good timing for her. She's got, uh, yeah, she's she's done it there before, I think, for the Women's World Cup. Correct. In the cricket. Yeah. Mm. Correct. Yes, so should. Katy Perry, new music for the first time in ages on the show, 9 a.m. Sorry to steal your thunder, Katie, though. That's, a, <laughs> that's quite fine. <laughs> $200 we're playing for, Katie. Uh, oh, my goodness. And you're in the draw for the BYD 803. Mm. And, baby, you are a firework. Well said. <laughs> well, I think so. Yeah, yeah it's, bring me it. Me too. You ready? <laughs> yep. Good luck. Second like a leaf. Come on, 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. In pool, what colour is the eight ball? Black. Millie Bobby Brown gained fame from what TV show? Don't know. Tutankhamun was ruler of which country? Egypt. Green tree, bull and sunset are all types of what? Um, I don't know. How many months are in a quarter? Three. Stop the clock. Pretty good. That is exactly how many seconds you have left. Okay. <laughs> Three. Three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Favourite number. That's not bad. Three, eh? Three seconds on the clock. Yep. All right. That could be competitive. 
It's a great gift <laughs> this morning. Oh. Guy Sebastian. Oh. oh Spring stop. back the gift. So good. Thank you, guys, Sebastian. Let's do Rabs. Susie O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddie. Susie O'Neill. I thought we were doing well. You won't see anything like that again this year. All right, here we go. Let's see how Suze goes. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. In pool, what colour is the eight ball? Black. Millie Bobby Brown gained fame from what TV show? Stranger Things. Tutu Carmen was the ruler of which country? <laughs> Egypt. Green tree, bull and sunset are all types of what? <laughs> Trees. How many months are in a quarter? Three. Stop the clock. Okay. Tutu Carmen. Tutu, Tutu, Tutu Carmen. Tutu Carmen. <laughs> got it going, dude. One of your best. Tutu Carmen. Uh, Sue's had eight seconds left on the clock. Give me a Tuco. Oi. Tight, tight, tight. In pool, what colour is the eight ball? You both said black. Black is correct. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown gained fame from what TV show? Sue said Stranger Things. That's correct, Katie. You didn't answer oh. that one. You ever watch Stranger Things? Oh. I was thinking. Oh, the first. Episode. <laughs> oh, didn't yeah, like it, ain't no fan. No. No, I didn't watch no time. it, but I did know that. Um, Tutu Carmen was yeah. ruler of which country? <laughs> <laughs> you both said Egypt. That's correct. 3 2 to Suze. Green tree, bull, and sunset are types of what? Anyone? Ants. Oh, bull oh. ants. Bull ants. No, that's. God. No, that's not what ants. is it? No? Snakes? Uh, Nick. Frog? Frogs, frogs, correct. Oh. Bullfrog. I mean, you got it. What did Sue say? Trees. She, she trees. said trees. Yeah. She was rattled by Tutu Carmen. Tutu, Tutu Carmen. Tutu Carmen. How many months are in a quarter? You both said three. It's a four-three victory to Susan O'Neill. Well done, Sue. And cool. These, it'll be worth three hundred dollars when we play at nine o'clock this morning to the cave. Your body is a firework. Is it your body or your your baby? Baby, you're a, fi- you're a baby firework. Or a firework. Yeah. I'm sure your body is a firework though. <laughs> is that? I don't know. Is that El- <laughs> Is that elbow? Yeah. I can hear you, but I can't see you. I think you're on the other side of this. Are you on the other side? It's of- elbow here. Yeah, I know. I was on my way to Parliament House, took a wrong <laughs> turn, and I've ended up in the cave. Oh, you silly bugger! That's incredible. How are you? But I can't. Again, there's, there's a door here, but it's a bit jammed. It needs some yeah. lu- lubricant or something. If only we had something we could you could put on an elbow, like just a lubricant. Fuck two and spit on that thing. <laughs> That'll do. Thank you. There it is. Thank you, Ali. Yeah, Cheers, you. Lutzi. That's good on you, bro. Good to see you. Um, I know you're a big... What's uh, that I can smell in here? That's... Uh, I don't know what that is, in fact. They've just made these these latest, like, uh, sort of, you know, they've, they've built it out down this back end <laughs> so they can fit more sort of prizes and things. Yeah. So we've got... So what are we going to give Katie here, Elbow? We've got a lot, uh, a lot of things. How about these tickets? Uh, do, have you got kids, Katie? I do. I have a three-year-old and a 15-year-old. Okay. Their <laughs> birthday's next week. Okay, family part... <laughs> family part... <laughs> Family pass to snow for kids at Westfield North Lakes. Yeah. I'm going to, send you, I'm going to also give you a, an awesome foursome pass to Bounce Inc., the indoor trampoline parks. Yeah. Oh, uh, they'll absolutely love that. How and about these work. tickets? Yeah, and a family pass to Lightscape. Thank you, Albert. Uh, international sensation Lightscape returns to Brisbane City Botanic Gardens this winter. All new and reimagined. Tickets on sale now at lightscapeaustralia.com. And How here, about these yeah, tickets? Okay, they're good as well. And I'm also going to give you a... Uh, it's a, it, this is a, How about a, these tickets? I've, I know, I've got it. A <laughs> How about these yeah, tickets? Yeah, I've got it. Hundred dollar good looking rooster voucher. Our good friends of Good Looking Rooster, home to La Cox uh, Salt. How yeah. about these tickets? Uh, another one. What's another one? Which one? Oh, oh my two, god! Number two. Number two. Oh, okay. You're a Bronco. How about these tickets? Yeah, I, I, elbow. I've got it. Um, are you a Broncos fan? Oh, yeah. Isn't every Queenslander? Well, you said that earlier. It makes me worried that you're not really a Broncos fan. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to go to the Bronx? 
Oh. Nah. No, she doesn't want to go. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Give them one more, Lutchie. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sure also... there'll be someone much better deserving. Just for you, I'm going to give you a Ciramay Winery Lavender Picnic for two. Yeah. You, oh. can, you can take your loved one, Katie, and he can appreciate that firework that you are. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and good thanks to, you. Good thanks to, to whoever's working the phones who put Katie, Queenslander and Broncos fan oh, no. into her explanation. <laughs> yeah, what on earth? That's why you were saying it, weren't you, Albo? Yeah. <laughs> see you, mate. Good to see you. Your mum has been chewing my oh, ear go. off ever since I got in here. Yeah, she's a fan. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Here we go. The Prince is on. Yeah. There's an urgency to it. It was a bit quick, if I'm being... But urgency is a really good word. Yeah. And I think it's because uh, she doesn't touch the bell. No, she she doesn't do the... the the She doesn't do the time-honoured Bradham view. He holds the bell. She doesn't touch it. Yeah. I really went to town, though. Yeah, it's Mm. loud. It's very loud for those. You didn't hold back. No. Why hold back? Don't hold back. I think the pot bellies famously once said. It's certainly (laughs) non feature am. non feature am. Mitchell. Mitchell. Hello, guys. Where are you? What's doing? I'm down here. It's oh, sunny uh, Red Hill down here. Falls right opposite the uh, Broncos Leagues Club. The uh, the captains run session, which is uh, will kick off in a, just over an hour. So things are just starting to be put out in the field. But it, I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky. The field is looking absolutely magnificent. Uh, it's painting a, a good picture ahead of the weekend uh, where the Broncos take on the Dragons have, tomorrow night at Suncorp. Have you seen any uh, like who's the first Bronco to turn up to training today? That's uh, that's a good anyone? question. I'd say. Well, I'm, I'm wondering who the po- most popular one is because of uh, the boys being away on origin duty. The likes of your Paddy Carrigans and yes. Reese Walsh are obviously the number one targets. And I think because he is returning this week too, I think pretty Jordan Ricky is going to be uh, mm. the number one target pretty down Ricky. here. Those uh, those lo- those lovely dimples. Uh, I mean, you know, oh, they, uh, they, they make us tremble at the knees, don't they, Lutzi? So oh, uh, I think he's going to be the, the number one star down here today when uh, when the boys rock on field. But uh, no players out here just yet. No one running any sort of solo training sessions, but uh, just all the staff putting out the uh, the marquees and things because the captain's run sessions, guys, if you're a Broncos fan but you've never been down here, the captain's run sessions are the open to the public. You can get around the boys, get out there, get some photos, get some uh, autographs after the session, but they encourage everyone to come down here and uh, and watch the guys. I know Friday makes it a bit tough to, uh, to bring the kids, but, you know, they can get to school late. What are they going to learn on a Friday? Friday, they haven't already learnt Monday yeah, to Thursday, good, right? Good Fridays so, shouldn't get, even be school days, in my opinion. Please. More time Just call it a week kids. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right, Lutzi. As you well know, you know, exactly. so uh, yeah. just, just make it a three-day weekend. But uh, well, I know we had on Coach Kevy Walters earlier this morning. We are talking about it being a must-win. Obviously, the Bronx, they've had five straight losses. I'm going to move on from that one. But just yeah, looking at the ladder, this. there's a n- there's a number of teams on the bye this week. We're currently in 13th. Now, the good news is we cannot drop any lower than that because the, the Bunnies, who lost last night, they were the only threat of overtaking us. But is we that can where it's come to me? No, 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 but what I'm that. saying is and what a tight competition it is. We can go from 13th to 9th. We can jump straight back up. We're going to be like... Uh, like four and against points away from getting okay. back into the eight well, and then on, we've we got a good this. run in we've got an away match against the Knights next week and then in two weeks so we'll say I'm in down here because I want to give away some tickets so come on down and see me outside the Broncos Leagues Club this is the one you want to get to obviously tomorrow we've got the NRLW uh, side as well they've got a trial match pre-game yeah. tomorrow that's a 5.15 kickoff ahead of the 7.45 with the blokes but uh, the, the game against the Bulldogs in two weeks that's nearly sold out already so if you've got an idea about wanting to see wow. the Broncos True. over the next month tomorrow night's the one you want to get wow. to. Come on down and uh, the Dragons obviously missing a couple as well. you got a lot of people coming up, getting their first grade run so it's going to be a Come big clash tomorrow night. The Broncos needing the win. We've got the NRLW. They kicked off their season launch last week. A trial match tomorrow afternoon. Get out there. Great halftime entertainment as always. And I've got some family passes. Yes, get the horns getting going through. We didn't give them the cue. That's fantastic. They uh, get on getting down here. I'll get family passes to give away. Come and see me. You said that last time. You flashing other... drivers down Jeez, in the hey? I'm nearly getting hit. I'm standing on the wrong side oh, of the car, careful, so it might, have, it might not have been a hey, hey, nice to see you. It's get off the road yeah, before the I way. clip you. It so. was friendly. Yeah. Mm. It's like listening to a podcast in 1.5 speed to these Mitch crosses, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's just you well, so it. exciting. I'm so close to the action here. I'm just getting excited about it, Buzz. So, right, get yeah, on you, Mitch. Take these tickets off me. Yeah. yeah. Never apologize. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Shelby Power, proudly fueling the mighty Queensland Maroons. He gets it on the little Langer. Langer really going hard. Alan Langer in action. Langer's over. Is he? Yes. Langer gets it right. Wreck it, Alf. 
Jason up at Caboolture was first through when he heard Elf singing along there. How are you, Jace? I'm well, mate. How are you? Good, mate. You've won a double to the Origin next week. How good. <laughs> that is great news. Thank you very much. you got to get a Caxton very blanket exciting. before you head there. Yeah, Caxton blanket, mate. Yeah, look, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, well overdue. I, I guess this uh, game is the fight one, so it has to, has to be given, right? Yep. It's one way to warm up. That's straight. Absolutely. Are you going to take, Jase? Definitely. Uh, quite a bit of a dilemma, actually, for me. I don't know. I could even take my son. Um, he's only five, but he's a massive Reese Walsh fan and playing football himself. Uh, so I could take him, or I might even take my father-in-law. I'm not too sure yet. Bit of a dilemma. Mm, who do you want the brownie points with more? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> take your son. Take yeah, your son. Once in a yeah. lifetime experience and I know, fire right? him he up would, for a life of it. footy. Uh, by, Absolutely it would. By the way, uh, for everyone heading into the origin, I believe we're doing a show in, yep. the, in the lead up to kickoff. <laughs> yeah, great. Mm. So awesome. make sure you, uh, and we're going to have some big names. Yeah, so you either be driving home or driving to the ground, wherever it is, we'll set the scene for you on Origin Night, right here on Nova. Lockie, Wally, host, good. host of big names will be yeah, uh, pre- names. previewing Paddy the match Carrigan. In, in the countdown to kick off. Mm. Yeah, the, Paddy the Carrigan as well. So make sure you ch- keep it tuned to us. Jace, if you're coming along, mate, bring your kid. Yep, sound like a plan. All right, mate. Perfect. Well, there ends record, Alf, for the week. Uh, the Origin tickets don't end there, though. Uh, Monday, what? the Blue Jadiv will be out on the uh, roads of Brizzy. Ooh. Yeah, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, your chance to tackle the Blue Jadiv. What do you mean tackle him? Well, Con- concrete. Remember a- a- anything. Yeah, remember a previous Blue Jadiv used to get hammered. Ooh. Yeah. Didn't he? Like, really? Mm. I remember he got knocked into bushes. He's still pulling cacti out of his buttocks. Interestingly, that uh, Blue Jadiv used to be a pizza delivery driver in the inner west. <laughs> <laughs> The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Teddy Swims, fresh hit called The Door. We played that one with a Knox era in Queen Street Mall as well. Yeah, when I say well, mates, he followed me on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you so, guys are mates. I don't know what you Point, make, make of that. Yeah. Point one of a percent. Of Isn't his, it? Of his, fo- of his of followers, you. he follows. Yeah. And you're one of them. I'd be cl- oh, I know yeah. you are. And, I, and by the way, can I just clarify, I didn't follow him and he, re- and he followed back. He just followed me. Have you Look since you followed him? Yeah, Look now I follow him. Now. Of course I oh. oh. Well, but when I'm you sent him the message, you weren't a Look follower of his. No. Oh. He now. just followed yeah. me. Like, unsolicited. He followed me. Oh, and then you went and followed him after. Yeah, I didn't do it straight so away. So you weren't one like, of his 6.1? No. No, Look correct. followers. I, w- I didn't even follow him. He followed me. So he's the reacher. And he's you're the, the settler. reacher. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's, well, that's actually more impressive. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah. It's quite impressive. Mm. You keep talking that down, Kendall. Sorry. Just, Sorry. Yeah. Jealousy's a curse. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Mm. Although there's, like, isn't there a little bit of um, tension between you two because it was established... That Lutzi didn't follow me a few yeah. weeks ago? Yeah. No, I see what happened was... He unfollowed yeah. me because he definitely no. used to follow I de- me. We all, no. we all, yeah. I unfollowed everyone and did no. a clean slate. That's what yeah. he reckons. I just yeah. forgot to put you back on. Did you unfollow mm. Ash? Probably not. No, I wouldn't have unfollowed Did you Ash. unfollow yeah. Buzz? Probably not. So what are you claiming, Lutzi, that you woke up one morning and all of a sudden... I deleted you- everyone and restarted just to clean the slate a bit. What, del- you deleted everybody? Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. I, I heard on a uh, producer's pod that uh, Nick that. <laughs> Nick over there un- unfollowed Kendall what? and then refollowed Why? her just so uh, he would pop up in the top of her notifications. Are you oh, maybe I did that. I did follow you like yesterday, I didn't know, I? but now I found out that in a week's time you're going to dump me anyway. <laughs> oh, is that what you do? I did say that people, you know, people follow you. Like, as in, I'm interested that? to know if Teddy will unfollow. You literally unfollowed me. You've already unfollowed I didn't her. Take your little glass I house mean, and I your stones. All right, Michael Maguire. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean to. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting tactic, though, Nick. I did the same thing to Lutzi as well. <laughs> did, did he follow back, though? He did. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. You do do that, actually. So what do you, why do you do that? Just to get Just attention. To, well, so that if we missed it the first time, which maybe, you know... Yep, so that when we missed it the first time, exactly. oh, yeah. gotcha. we okay. pop back yeah, up yeah, at the yeah, top yeah. and maybe we are there visible in our notifications. So you solicited a follow, I said no, and then you undid it and did it again and try again. You were about a seven-year play, yeah. Seven years. Oh yeah, you're a slow burn much. in fairness, you know. Oh, thank mm. you. I had to ring people at other radio stations to make sure you're okay, you know. 
Decent human. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ben Tio does Ben Tio. I was I was what's, this, what's this Nick guy like? I was going to do this um, at eight, um, but we'll move on. Um, Nick yesterday, we did, we did the car thing where I played back the audio of the, the car trip with Nick yesterday. Um, he also did Smarter Than Sue's because we were in the car for, for Smarter Than Sue's time. And so, you know, listeners always say, oh, play along in the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick did that yesterday. Wow. We call him Know It All Nick. Should we have a listen to Nick's <laughs> yeah, Smarter yeah, Than yeah. Sue's? It's very good. Here we go. You ready, Jace? 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Time starts now. Who painted Starry Night? Van Gogh. Okay. Fox, Moon, and Blue Bottle types of clock. Jellyfish. <laughs> Who is the star of the Knives Out movie Can franchise? Can you pray? Name a colour on the Trinidad and Tobago flag. Red. <laughs> Green. Spell mortgage. M O R T G A G E. M O R T G A G E. That is a bit super rain man. impressive. So a bit rain man. Did you write the questions though? I absolutely did not. Did I, Lockie? No. Oh, well. Uh, so you know, definitely. he wouldn't have written that question. Hey, Nick, you know you got five out of five. Oh, I do, because I said it instantly. We said it at the end. Time. We laughed over it. <laughs> anyway, your chance to take on Sue's next. 200 bucks cash money yeah. up for grabs. By the way, anyone can do it in a car. The exactly. point is, on air, it's like it's, uh, it's we, a different set of, uh, you know, it's a different skill. Totally skills. different. He's done different it. Pressure. Like, there was another time that Suze was away. Did uh, he do it? Wasn't that recently? Yeah, you brought me in. And, and I brought him in as, as the replacement. Did I'll, he win? 4-2. He won. Two. He won. <laughs> Nick! Think you know it all. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. And we worked out how to get, well, first and foremost, an... Like an AFL person out of the room <laughs> in the break just then. <laughs> Come on. Oh, like, uh, you it just, was okay. You just talk immortal chat. We had yeah. a mortal chat, the they three were having, of us. Well, a mortal argy bargy, really. Mm. And you know what? It's interesting because you're pro- predominantly AFL, you'd That's say, right? right? Yeah. And, like, totally AFL. Mm. Yeah. And like, yeah. And, I, and I was listening to something yesterday, a mortal chat on radio, and it, and it drifted over to AFL, how theirs is different because they have legends, I think. It's not immortals, they're called legends. And it just lost me. I just didn't know enough just about it. Out. They started yeah. popping out names. I'm going, oh, I'm out. Yes. You know, I, I can't. I can't be in this conversation. I did know a lot of the names you were saying, and I like went and googled them. <laughs> I googled you were the doing? list. Well, you I just want to be part of the conversation. We I was like, yes, let me contribute. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know a lot of these names. But again, even Ash, you were like, well, I never watched him play because most of that list, are, their photos are in black and white. Yeah, no, 100%. a lot of the earlier so, players, yeah. I but, can't but, comment on. But we've still heard of them. But like yes. The, yes. The, the AFL one was the same yesterday, where whatever station was on, and they were like, started saying <laughs> names. Like, it, it could have been... You know, kids I went to school. I just had no concept of who these people that, were. That's exactly know? what it feels like when I'm watching like another code. If I'm watching, uh, yeah. you know, that, uh, and I sit there you're and, it's, and it's just names, and I do think to myself, this, this, this must be what it's like for Jody watching the NRL. Yeah, <laughs> every it's, it's, Friday. it just means absolutely it's, nothing. It's, it's just blankness. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Kendall, that Ben Affleck story you mm, just shared. Yeah, that he's he's not wearing his wedding ring. Do you wear well, a wedding ring? No. Oh, Buzz? There's, lot, there's yep. lots of Lutzi, married people. Do you wear, oh, wear oh wedding sorry. Ring. What are you apologising oh. for? Do I look unhappy to you? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, it's always been a quick doesn't fix. Necess- doesn't necessarily mean that no, he's No, that's broken fair. Up, but, but everyone's talking about the fact that those two are, have split up. Oh, well, they don't So, look like, happy. you can't it, go anywhere without a wedding ring. Yeah. It's like a PR disaster. But that's, that's the never second time happy. that he married her, isn't it? Yeah. Cor- oh, did they get married last time or were they engaged and called it off right before the wedding? But the point is they bounce oh. back to each other. They think yeah. they can fix it. They didn't work last time. Why is it going to work no, this time? They're very it's different a- people. She is, like, true showbiz and he is quite a recluse and takes his work very seriously, whereas she's a bit more frivolous. And So I don't know how that's He looks work. miserable. He does. Wish he had taken Tom Brady's roast a bit more seriously. It might have been funny. <laughs> Who's that? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Oh. Was he in it? Well, you had to see the roast to get what I just said. Fabulous. <laughs> For all the listeners. That <laughs> you know, he was horrible in that. Go do some research and then laugh at the joke after you see the, <laughs> the roast. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Your story here, Ash. Um, it's your time. Well, we got, we got Sue's coming back from uh, her holiday on Monday. Have we heard from her? Uh, no, she sent us that text a couple of days ago yeah, yeah. saying she, she was, was still in, in Paris. She yeah. was in Paris. She was in the Olympic City. Yeah. <laughs> or just I don't before know the Olympics. Start. Why she's there. Yeah. That must be killing her yeah. to be at the Olympics as everyone's arriving and she's about to leave. It'd be the first Olympics she hasn't been to since Atlanta. I don't know. 
Yeah, something like that. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 probably. No, 92. Since 92. Atlanta yeah. was 96. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Why isn't she going? I don't know. She's, she's got to work. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know. I don't know why she's not going, to be honest with you. <laughs> and the work thing, to be fair, doesn't seem to stop her. <laughs> that's not, that's, she, we haven't seen her in a month, mate. Right? We should point out it's, it's not stopping yeah. Lutzi. Yeah, I'm no, going. He's yeah, not right. over, but, he'll, but I'll be on the show be from doing there. The show from, from, from there. We'll yeah. be getting exclusive uh, input from Paris on a daily basis through the Olympic Games. But mm. I've had. I've You're had, welcome, Nova. So Suze is paying me. Suze is in Europe, and um, and then I've got like uh, like I think I've got like two other friends that are doing European trips over over the. Our winter, their summer, the mm. recent holidays. Like, have you noticed there seems to be a lot of people that are popping up in Europe? Well, is this that just is like in my... Buzz went off social media and I'm like, it's the time of year to do it because yeah. everyone's in Europe oh. and all you have to do is look at their holiday photos. Yes. What's more annoying than uh, that? I've, yeah, I've got that crap. Um, FOMO. Yeah. Total FOMO. And my eldest boy, Levi, uh, Levi and Liv, uh, his girlfriend... They're over there too. Where are they? Oh, they've had the most amazing trip. They've been gone for like about a, as long as what Sue's has, where uh, they've done like a to- but to- done a total on the budget, like just basically got the airfares over there, and then they worked a few things out. They did uh, went to Croatia. Oh yeah, God. Which um, yacht week is that? Yeah, yeah they, they and then right. hopped hopped on a hopped on a boat yeah. where everything was paid for and it seemed pretty cheap. Mm. Well, when you say everything was paid for, that they paid. Oh, they paid before all they inc- went, all but inclusive. all include one of those oh, yeah. all inclusive They're deals, dangerous. and they had that just at the end of their holiday, and they're coming back now too. But I've had that thing. I think it's the first time that I've ever felt as a as a parent, like. Not jealous, but extremely envious of one of my kids going, oh, my God, this kid's, like, his life's better yeah. than mine. You don't have been mm. in Yacht Week? No. And this kid's... No. Oh, barely, going, he's chalking up experiences adult, better yeah. than what I've ever had. That's ridiculous. I, I, I love that he's... It's, so you reckon it was his money or you you paying a check? No, 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 this? that's his money. I'm that's, actually proud of that, that he's yeah, done that, because I'm, yeah. I'm seeing people in Europe right now. I was like... You asked me for a hundred bucks to get through the week two weeks ago, and all of a sudden you're, <laughs> in, you're in bloody, you know, in yeah. Italy. What's going on there? Yeah, Who's no. paying for that? No, am I right? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We all know who we're talking about. Yeah. Are you to those people? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You know, wave, waving a white white handkerchief above your head in 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 Lesbos. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paying for this shit? The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Cooler of the Week. About 14 minutes, sorry to cut you off there, oh, you're Lutzi. Right, buddy. It's, I know we got this, this, this show goes at a frenetic pace, mate. Well, I want to get to the new Katy Perry song, which we're going to play at 9 o'clock this morning. Is that the one where she's scantily clad in the... Oh, yeah, it is. She oh, is very is scantily clad, clip. isn't she? Mm. It's called Woman's World. Is, isn't it just... Yeah, a Nova <laughs> and first about time, it's, too. Absolutely. What's preach. That, You're asking preach. me. Preach. Yeah. Preach it, sis. Good? What's preach be? Preach. I don't know. It means keep talking. Yeah. I'm doing the prayer, I'm doing the prayer, prayer hands, hands sing emoji. Is it prayer or is it a high five? Oh, I think it's prayer. I'm, I'm... No, I'm pretty sure it's a high five. Hang on. Let's sort something out I think out if here. it's a high five, it needs like some little If like, you type in prayer... Pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I know that comes pressure. up. Like, but slap. Mm. Like they did a study. And they oh, they did a study. All right, mate. Just ask I read Apple. an article. We can Lutzi, do... can you call Apple? Yeah. No, we'll do a, we'll do a um, survey towards the end of the show, which is... Mm, that's so, what the people want next. a survey well, yeah. about. Are you trusting that our listeners know? Oh, yeah. I trust my listeners with everything. Well, then, this was a listener. In fact, this was our caller of the week. Let's have a listen to Mackenzie. In which ocean is the island nation of Madagascar? Pass. Whose catchphrase is, what's up, Doc? Um, the, I don't know, pass. Who was the first billionaire YouTuber? Um, oh my God, my mind. I think that has to be the worst one that you just, you, I've ever heard. It's not the worst, <laughs> uh, Mackenzie, it's not, or well, might be one of the worst ones we've ever <laughs> What, your mother's disappointed. I'm disappointed. I mean, we're all disappointed. You embarrass your school. Don't name your school. Don't no one ought to send their kids there. What school did you go? <laughs> I don't know if I should out them like no. that. I think I guessed afterwards. Is it Somerville House? Over to you, Mackenzie. Hi. You're really backing up your worst call of the week status <laughs> right now. Those were such hard questions. Yeah. 
You, you danced it. We, was it Somerville House Wait, you went am to? am I live right yes, now? Yes, you are. Yeah, don't swear, talking Mackenzie. to the real people. Oh, Welcome to the show. Oh, oh, oh wow. Uh, you know what my mum said yesterday, Mackenzie? This is Lutzy. <laughs> what did she say? She said, oh, she's lovely, that lady. Give her some good gifts. Oh. <laughs> she was my talking about Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. She yeah. actually wasn't too disappointed. She goes, she goes, at least you sound pretty. You did. You, mm. you, you had a good vibe about yeah, you. Yeah, you did sound pretty. I'll, I'll give you that. Now, what do you say? Do you say that the, uh, you know that, is it is it a prayer or is it a high five? That, that, emoji. Yeah, that emoji. You know that emoji we're talking about. Come on, what say you? Um... Probably the prayer one. Well, yeah, if you're correct, that'll be the first question you've answered correctly mm. this week. Yeah. Now, what do we give her? Did, did we give her a prize? Yeah, this is the uh, caller call of the week. week. Know, Merch pack. She... I can't believe it. Number 22. I honoured, guys. Yeah. Uh, you get uh, be... Susie's. Oh, yeah, I gave a sandstone point tickets yesterday yeah, That's massive. Well. Alessa's got a new oh, uh, country so pop song coming out. You'll, um, you'll be able to wear my bucket hat, the Ashes Gone Fishing bucket hat. Wear that pridely. You'll get uh, Susie. Proudly. Wear that pridely. Yeah. Just keep doing I will. Yeah, we'll all talk over each other. We'll continue. Uh, just keep swimming Beach's beach bag. <gasps> yep. Yay. And the uh, What Would Lutzy Do Stubby Cooler. Mackenzie? Oh, how exciting. It keeps your drinks um, cold in summer and your hands warm in winter. Sounds great. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzy and Susie O'Neill podcast. I want to know whether or not the, the two hands together emoji on the iPhone is a prayer or a high five. Now, I'll be honest, I always thought it was a prayer, but then I read a uh, story only a couple of weeks ago mm. saying that it, it is actually a high five emoji, and it's one of those things. Because I never know. Like they I... go, oh, he's, he's been using it as a prayer emoji, but it's not, it's high five. Do you use it? I use it? I used it yesterday. I, do you know? Do you remember Jeffrey Shoecraft? <laughs> Oh, he's my friend. Yeah. He lives in he lives in oh, Dubai I, now. Okay. You know him. He was international quarterback back in the day. Oh, I, yeah. Before your time, probably. But anyway, okay. great guy. He's coming back. And, I, you know, he's getting... Uh, anyway, he said safe travels and, and, and you know, he would have to go to the... And doctor. then you prayed yeah. for him? And I just, you know, safe travels. Praise. I did the old yeah. hands. Yeah. I love it, yeah. actually. I was just like, thank you. But you yeah. say you type of... prayer into the... It comes up as that. And if you type high five, it doesn't. Oh. I reckon they yeah, created right. it to be a high five, but that's not how we all interpreted it. And mm. so now they've had to bend. What, the eggplant? Yeah. yeah. What <laughs> Tell cre- us, Ash, what, what, what create- are you referring to? What well, the eggplant, eggplant was um, just half his. It, well, it was it was just invented in case people needed to use an eggplant. <laughs> but then Such somewhere a- along the way, it got mixed up and people were going, no, we won't use this as an eggplant. Yeah. We'll, we'll use it as something else. Yeah. yeah. Well, half a pog off. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, well I, I, I say it's not even half his. That's like the peach. Using it like, it's fully yeah, his. Because yeah. I use it in conjunction with another the one. Peach, the yeah, peach, yeah. The, pe- the peach, I mean the peach, you know. Well, if you use an eggplant <laughs> into a yeah, peach, we, we, yeah, yeah. peach yeah. that's, yeah. that's we not, got, it's yeah. not, you're not. You're not talking fruit salad there, my friend. No, you ain't no. talking fruit no. salad. Uh, Lee out of McDowell. Toss salad. Yeah, what are we asking? Yummy, yummy. What, what are we asking <laughs> you, Lee? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> a, the emoji? A, emoji. What, what say you? What say you? Say you. <laughs> Thanks for your call, Lee. We used to have this boss that would say when you're doing radio, like you're, you're going to a picnic and yeah. don't take too many turns yeah. off going to the picnic because then you, you the, the break makes no sense. And that's what we're doing here now, Kim. Kim out of Parkinson. Kim's like, Kim, they, you are on air. What are we speaking of? Hey yeah, so what is it? Do you know, I just need your answer here. Is it, the, is it, a, is it a, a prayer or is it a high five? Well, I actually used to always think it was saying, like, thank you, like putting your hands together and saying thank you. Yeah, I agree. I I guess it could be a prayer. (laughs) Yes. I literally just, like, put them together and bowed at Buzz. Like, yes, thank you, thank you. Mm. Uh, Kate, Caboolture. Yes, Kate. Definitely a prayer. So you use it in what, in in strictly sort of religious sense, or how would you use it? Uh, No, I guess just when I'm wishing for something or hoping... Yeah, like yeah, a fingers crossed. So, yeah, yeah fingers more, crossed. more like got an exam today. Hope I go well. Not not like hardcore. Like oh, good luck in lu- Lourdes. Hope hope yeah. hope you get cured. Or, you know, you know, paying hands I might win some yeah. state of origin tickets or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. What, are you, what are you trying to tell us? <laughs> Praying, yeah. pleading. Well, if this was Wednesday, yeah. Kate, you yeah, would be because yeah. every caller on the show Wednesday gets Origin tickets. Yeah, so call back then. Call, right. call in next right. Wednesday. Right, yeah. last one. We'll be asking another inane question then, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs>
and, 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 and discussing 18 things on the, in the lead up to it. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than I'm smarter than Suze. Brighton Homes are now offering up to $35,000 cash back on their homes. You don't need to be smarter than Suze to live brighter and save more with Brighton. Uh, Carol, Northside represent out of Banyo. Northside, Northside represent... Yes, yeah, the best part of Brisbane. Carol, where do you go? I was with a, uh, my good mate Freddie Wally last night. You know Freddie? Yep. Uh, great Norse Devils player. Uh, he's popping down the Savo. And, and paparazzi, please stay away. I know that, you know. But um, <laughs> Ether is a uh, brewery down there. I think it's technically out the back of Banyo or Northgate or something. But there's some good little breweries around Banyo now. Like five or six of them, Carol. The way you say Banyo is a bit weird. Why? Banyo. I don't know. Banyo. Well, with that... Was born That's there. actually how you say toilet in Spanish, so it's what? very weird. What, oh. baño? <laughs> baño, Baño yeah. is toilet are in you, Spanish? Are, are you yes. serious? Really? Yes. It's spelled different, but that's how you pronounce it, yes. <laughs> are you Spanish? Nick's nodding and he knows I am everything. Latin American, yes. Are you Latin American? Wow. So say, say, say toilet in Spanish then? Baño. Banyo. Banyo. <laughs> Freddie Wally never told me that. That sounds like you. That just sounds like me saying banyo. Banyo. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we joke with my husband saying that we live in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, banyo is anything but a toilet. It's God's, ca- God's yeah. country down there. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I did not know that. All right, what are we playing for? 300. Did Suze bucks. have a win? Suze had a win yeah. an hour ago. Um, mm-hmm. All right, well, Carol, good luck. Let's get into it. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What kind of animal is the character Eeyore? Uh, donkey. What is the Korean side dish of fermented vegetables? Kimchi. Who stars opposite Will Smith in the Bad Boys franchise? Martin Lawrence. What crime was Joan of Arc accused of? Uh, I don't know. Spell doubt. D O U T B P H. I'll give it to you. Just in. I, just I reckon. I like it. I'll give it to him. Yeah, me too. What, what, what did you think I, I asked that final question out of interest, Carol? Um, I am actually not sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's not yeah, American. Okay. Yeah. Give her a break. Giving her a spelling um, question. Yeah. That's a bit harsh. Sorry for jumping down your throat. But, Carol, <laughs> I, I do apologise. I came on a bit. You came on a bit heavy. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. How long did... Oh, you went the distance. Yeah, we totally get, we, went we, the we distance. Let it We're going to accept the final oh, answer, but yeah. uh, it was just before mm-hmm. uh, well said. time expired. Let's bring in the gimp. <laughs> Sam Fisher this morning. Bring in the gimp. Rabs. Susie O'Neill! Hold the phone, Freddy! Susie O'Neill! I thought we were doing well! I won't see anything like that again this year! Alright, let's see how go, uh, Susie goes. Her final one until she's back on Monday. 30 seconds on the clock, your time starts now. What kind of animal is the character E or? It's a donkey. What is the Korean side dish of fermented vegetables? Akuchi. Who stars opposite Will Smith in the Bad Boys don't franchise? Don't care, don't know. What cr- crime was Joan of Arc accused of? Don't know. Spell doubt? D-O-U-B-T. Stop the clock. Oh, you could tell she was at the end mm, of it. Bit of attitude, but then mm. fascinated by Joan of Arc all yeah. of a sudden. Sorry for jumping down your throat, Sue, so I didn't mean to. <laughs> ask you have had both of them today, actually. Yes. Uh, two go, please. You're, you're the problem, baby. Tight, tight, tight. tight. <laughs> uh, what kind of animal is the character. Uh, what kind of animal is the character E or? You both said donkey. And that is correct. Is that from Shrek? No, from Winnie the Pooh. From yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, he's was, very yeah. sad. I was thinking Shrek. No, he's yeah. very... Donkey, I had my mouth open. No. That was... Uh, is that Eddie Murphy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Eddie Murphy? I'm a fine talking yeah. donkey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's one all. Great movie. What is the yeah. Cor- Korean side dish of fermented vegetables? Now, Carol, you said kimchi. 
Correct. Sue said coochie. She had something Ooh. else entirely she on had her mind. Something else in her mind, I think. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, well, you'll get the point for that one. Coochie. Yeah, yeah and we'll just scrape. Well, I think Sue's that's a nick- possibly been. No, I think that's a name that her and Cliff use with with each other. Yeah, romantically with, with each other. Yeah, coochie, coochie. <laughs> yeah. It's two one to Carol. <laughs> Who stars opposite Will Smith? In the Bad Boys franchise, Suze just didn't care. Didn't know and did not care <laughs> did about not. that one. She had no time for that at all. Uh, you said Martin Lawrence, and that's correct. That was a good get, I thought. Great get. You've hit the front 3-1. What crime was Joan of Arc accused of? You both said, I don't know. Anyone? No. Anyone? No. Oh, being too sexy. <laughs> no, wasn't that? <laughs> Nick's like slowly uh, yeah, going towards the mic. What's that, mate? Was it treason? No. Which, witchcraft. Oh. That's a pretty sexy crime. Witchcraft. Oh, alrighty. Uh, three, one, Carol, you can't be beat. Spell doubt. I don't know what the bloody hell you were spelling there, but it certainly wasn't doubt, Carol, but it's not going to matter. <laughs> Sue said D-O-U-B-T. That is correct, but it's a 3-2 victory to Carol. Yeah. From, from the toilet. From the, to- the Spanish <laughs> toilet. And you've just won $300. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Now, apparently, Carol's a big uh, Broncos fan. Is that correct, Carol? Oh, definitely. I just haven't had the chance to get tickets because it's a big stadium. There we go. You might be in luck. Well, I like this. Oh. Uh, have you been to a football game before, Carol? I say that, Carol. Uh, race. I have, yes. Yeah, that's exactly. when I became a super fan, yes. You've probably been here for 20 years. I'm, I'm, I'm pretending you're fresh off the boat. You've just arrived yesterday. From <laughs> how, long, how long have you been here? Be. I've been here 11 years. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're keeping that lovely accent, though. I love that. Okay, well, um, I, I'm going to give you a family pass to the Broncos v. the Dragons. That's this Saturday, July 13th. Suncorp Stadium. Oh, my God. Here. And make sure... Have you got kids? Have you got kids? I've got a three-year-old, yeah. Oh, she she hasn't been to a game yet, so... Well, she'll be making her debut, or he will, whatever. But make sure you get there, <laughs> early, make sure you get there early, because the Broncos NRLW side, the women are playing a trial match in the early games. They'll be worth checking out as well. Ooh, go, yeah. Go through that little door, Lutzi. Hey, yeah. Hang on, I was going to go through this door. Thank here, you Carol. so much. Hang on, don't yeah, go anywhere. Carol. Do you know where you are? No. In, in Banyo. <laughs> <laughs> I will stay in your head forever now. I've got to be very careful with Banyo because that's like, you know. Banyo. That's where my dad was Banyo. born. Banyo. My dad went to some pious Banyo. Banyo. There's some Aussie twang really on it for him. Banyo. Banyo. <laughs> so you, how do you say it? Do it like, do a news story with Banyo in it. Go on, just say something now. Lutzi's in the cave in Banyo. Oh, wow. Boy. She just puts it on like that. <laughs> that's that's, so that's so insane. Good, doesn't it? It's Makes a, you want to live it's there. It's a bit ABC. Is Hi, it? I'm Kendall Gilding. Well, do it, do it FM then. Do it FM. Yeah. <laughs> if Go that on. was ABC. Well, if I had to sound like Lutzi, how would I sound? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? You're Sorry. It up. That's the first time you've ever sounded like you're from Cairns. I was going to say yeah. that we yeah, you're from Cairns. Cairns. I'm, a, I'm a far north Queenslander. Yes. Um, hey, uh, have a good weekend, Carol. Th- oh, sorry. Thank you, everybody. Have a week- good weekend, too. There we go. Um, of course, Broncos are on. Good luck to the boys tomorrow night. Next week on the show, uh, the Blue Jadiv is back on the streets of Brisbane. Tackle the Blue Jadiv. Yeah, Nick. Win, bash tic- Nick, win bash tickets him. to uh, Origin. And then on Wednesday's show, everyone uh, who gets on the air will win tickets to State of Origin. Money can't buy tickets. That is insane. It's going to be a massive show. Susie can, back as well on Monday. Can I give the peace symbol slash high five to Kendall for yes. this uh, outstanding? Pray- Couple of weeks. Praise me. Well yes. Ring the bell for Kendall. Ring, ring the bell for that, please, Ashley. Thank you, Kendall. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've Thank done you. very well. You've been great, seriously. Did you enjoy it? I had a great time. I don't know how you guys get to call this work. It's not really fair. Mm. He's up. Yeah. <laughs> get out of the cave. Don't give away the secrets. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.